right, so when it comes to finding the right position, um, well, foot position for a squat, everyone's a little bit different. And if someone tells you that you've got to squat in a certain way, with a certain angle, uh, a certain turned out angle of your feet, or like a certain um, width, it's a load of shit, right? Yeah, so like, everyone's got a different um, bone structure, everyone's got a different like, mobility set, so your squat is okay to look very different to your mates. What we want to do though is choose a foot position um, and, a, and a foot angle or an exclamation of our hips that gives you the most range of motion and the comfiest squat that you can achieve. So we're just going to go through some drills on the floor that will correlate to having a, a good position in the actual squat. So if I just come onto this in that, into that four point position, what he's going to do here is play around with his foot position and his knee position to determine where he can come the furthest back without getting any rounding of his spine. So if we imagine this position really is exactly like a squat when we're standing up, it's just on the side. So if he goes feet a bit closer together, that might or might not be comfortable. Likewise, when he comes back forward and goes knees a bit wider, and again feet together, again that might be more or less comfortable. So if we die, this sort of position is actually giving him loads of range of motion. If, however, he brings his feet outside his knees a little bit, he's going to have a more internally rotated position, that's a wider position, that gives him a little bit less range of motion. For some people, that actually, that, that's quite rare, but that gives you more range of motion. So if we die, he's got pretty mobile hips in every range of motion anyway, so he can be, he's got a choice of foot positions, really. Once we find a position that doesn't feel like it pinches too much in the hip, as we rock backwards, we're gonna actually push all the way back into that squat and maintain a bit of control in that position. He's gonna then come back forwards, tip out of it, and hold that same floor position again. Now as you're doing this, it's probably a good idea to find some positions that aren't quite so comfortable as well, so you can feel what is and what isn't right for you. So if Thigh comes into a not so comfortable position for his squat this time, one way his back sort of round. As he pushes back, he can't maintain that nice upright torso in that bottom position. So if the die, a little bit wider is a much more comfortable position as he rocks back and forth. For this one, you've just got to have a, a play and just think about the position you're trying to achieve. A good squat just looks like knees over foot. It doesn't matter if your, um, the angle of your foot really, all you want is your knee to track over the midline of your foot. As long as you've got that, along with a nice um, flat back from shoulder to hip, that position staying constant throughout, everything else is kind of open to interpretation. As long as you're in a position that feels A, comfortable, and B, like you're strong, then you're probably all good for that position. So have a play. If you're a bit confused with this one, because you'll be playing one, because you'll be doing it what single player, get some videos done, just set it up on the floor with your phone, video yourself, upload it into the group, and any of the coaches can have a little look and, um, and give you some feedback on that. And just play around with it as well. Be, this, the position that feels the most comfortable is certainly a position you want to go for, as long as near the foot and nice neutral position from shoulder all the way to hip.